welcome back to Good Day State Line. We always have so much to learn when we chat with Dr. Kapoor from Transitions. Today we are talking about how Transitions care impacts patients on an emotional level. Hi, Dr. Kapoor. Hi there. How are you today? I'm good. We love talking to you, and I feel like this topic is going to be something that we're all going to really love too. Yes, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about some of these stories that you wanted to share with us tonight. So I wanted to tell you that being in the field of hospice has been, you know, not only rewarding, but, you know, you come across a lot of psychosocial, spiritual, also very humanistic components of life. And, you know, we most recently had a most amazing um, 36-year-old patient who, you know, was going to pass and she wanted her son's birthday to be extra special. Um, and she wanted to be the one that was the last one to celebrate it with him. So our amazing social worker, Allie, and our amazing um, chaplain, Trevor, uh, sprang into action. This was in our central um, Illinois, uh, Peoria area. And uh, they sprang into action. And within hours of an email going out asking about ideas, um, we had a mobile video game truck scheduled to come to the family home. Um, and uh, that was on a Monday afternoon. And so that the son could have a very extra special celebration. Uh, the company providing the truck significantly reduced the cost, um, and um, and it, it was just such an amazing experience. Our team has even offered to cover the cost for the family, and this was like one of our most um, you know busy I think posts that we had posted about because it's just so sweet what what has been able to be brought forth by our team. That's the thing I think, you know, it's nice that we're able to share with everyone about what hospice really is because we've talked about this a million times. People think it's really sad and really depressing and scary. And of course there's sadness involved, but one of the reasons why you would choose hospice is to make it less sad, right? Right, and, and it's about just using whatever time we have because we don't know when our expiration date really is going to be. We don't have control over that. So uh, what we do have control over is the present time. And so let's make that present time really good, not thinking too far into the past or not too far into the future and just focusing there with patients. Um, I have learned so much through my patients that, you know, I, I had a breast cancer patient one time with her arm kind of falling off, pathologic fracture from cancer, and she had a better attitude than a lot of the people that I know um, that don't have these types of issues. So it really comes down to mindset and perspective and purpose. Um, I learn a lot from my patients, and that's why I'm a pretty happy individual. So how does Transitions focus then on living now versus, you know, the end result? You know, our testimonials, um, you know, just from family, it's just about how, and that's a really big philosophy of our uh, CEO is just living now. Um, we focus in on, first of all, controlling the pain of the patients, making sure that we um, <clears throat> address the psychosocial. I saw a palliative care patient uh, remember, palliative care is different than hospice just the other day. And, you know, I stayed on, on the phone with her every half hour until her pain was controlled, got the right dose. And she was crying half of the time because there was so much grief from what she's lost. And she also has taken care of her 91 year old mother with a stage four cancer. So our palliative care social worker, Erin, was able to get into that case, is actually visiting this patient this week and 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 just sorting through some of these really difficult dynamics and helping people walk um, together with somebody. Um, we have another story that uh, mm. comes from Joe Agnello. You know, he was on, yeah. the, on the segment um, and he uh, he had expressed that he finished a conversation with a husband who had lost um, a wife um, about a few weeks ago and the care was so amazing. Um, he didn't know what to do, but he relied heavily on our hospice team and they did help him and he had confidence and reassured his wife who was loved. He was in the best possible care. Um, she was dying. Uh, when she was dying, he called for a nurse. She came, and after he passed, the nurse told him what to do, and, and he did it. Um, so uh, she was moving around calmly, taking care of her, changing the sheets, dressing, and putting a little perfume on her. He thought she looked lovely, but what he got the most was watching her work so peacefully. He was, She was calm, getting the wife ready for the funeral, and that made him calm. Um, so just going through that experience of, you know, you, you reflect what, is in front of you. Um, that also applies, you know, to children. So really, just making sure that the the families have a positive experience um, in whatever way from every part of our care team. You know, this is you know uh, the nurse. Um, you're going to get that experience here because it, th this company was created from a place of passion and care from Jim Palazzo, who had an experience with his father and decided that he wanted healthcare done right. Um, and then he figured out from that experience how it should be done right. And he's upheld that 
through and through year after year. All right, Dr. Kapoor, how can we get in touch with you? So you um, you can contact us on our website, um, uh, transitionshospice.com, or you can uh, contact us, us at the phone number yes, listed thank, here. We got it. Thank you so much, Dr. Kapoor. We will talk to you soon. Thank you. We'll be right back with Tuesday Trends and Shamrock Shakes.